Hi guys and welcome to this, the Briggs Farmers League and here we are back again with week four. I am of course Adam Fox, the unoriginal name gamer here with Spadge from Gab. How you going Spadge? Hello, good, good to be here. Good to be here for another week here, week four. So this is the, the halfway point in that the preliminaries and so this is the time when the teams are allowed to swap in substitutes and stuff like that as well. So might be seeing a few new names, hopefully, in the, with the teams. Yeah, definitely. I think probably not so much in the game tonight, but in the, na- the games later in the week, we'll definitely see some of those subs start to come out and a few new faces. Now, just having a quick look at the scores now that week three is over. So we've got Gab with a nice uh, three-win lead there. Obviously, that win against uh, Jugger, um, putting them in that the top spot there. Um, Jugger is straight behind them. Well, Jugger, RSNC and Dyer are all tied there with two wins, one loss each, only really being held up by the, the point scores. And then uh, Soka and Fifth Column both with three losses there and Soka holding a slight lead uh, against Fifth Column just on the points as well. Yeah, really close at the top. The Gab team is the only one that is undefeated, but the other three guys right on their heels, Jugger, RSNC and Dyer, and only 100 points or less than 100 points separating first from from fourth place there. And, of course, top four teams going to the finals. So at this point, everyone's going to be trying to, to make their playoff run. There's only two rounds left before the end of the season so every team is going to want to score as many points as they can and you're going to have teams like Dyer who are, are sitting in fourth based on points alone wanting to really make a push and, and try and kick the point score up there but um, it's really close at the top there and, and seeding is going to be pretty wide open at this point. Yeah, well, just having a look at the... the like we've got the Gab RSNC match coming up today. If RSNC really pushes it out and wins this one, that'd give them uh, three wins to one loss, and that'd flick them up into um, second place, at least, um, if they can beat the Gab guys out, that is. Yeah, that would really throw a spanner, and this is probably the perfect base for them to do that because this this map has seen a lot of practice, especially... Really early in the piece, this was the, the go-to base when everyone wanted to practice and that each team will be very, very familiar with what they have to do here. But the point room on this one is, is really critical to hold. It's always critical to hold the point room, but because it's such a wide open space with so many different approaches, the rooftop is such a huge play space for the light assault because it, it guards the approaches. You lose a couple of important members, you lose your light assault, you lose maybe even just one heavy on the point and you, you're really susceptible to have what was an extremely strong hold on the point just get shoved off completely. So if RSNC can get their stuff together and they've got the favourable side Sunderer for the, the initial points secure, if they can do that, hold it, and then get the point capture right off the bat, I think they're in a good spot. But I'd like to see them really prioritise capturing the base in this, this first half of the round. That's a nice segue there into the uh, talk about the uh, actual base here. So we've got the exclusion zones. Uh, if anyone that's watched the, the practice matches we did earlier on where we were sort of nutting out all the nuts and bolts of how the casting and whatnot was going to work, they've seen us uh, have a few fights at Garn Southern Crossing there. So um, obviously you've got your your northern and your southern Sundras uh, and the exclusion zones around them, basically the the edge of the small rock for the northern one is your sort of marker and that the smaller building to the the south is your, your marker for the, the southern Sundra. Uh, if anyone goes past those points that's uh, not on the team that owns that Sundra, they're out of bounds and consequences will occur. And uh, we might as well jump into the actual game and have a bit of a look at the base. Obviously... You guys will probably have a good idea about Garn Southern Crossing already. Again, if you've uh, oh, uh, lost the mic there for a second. Um, again, if you've um, watched the, the practice matches, you'll have a bit of an idea. So we've got our server room here, as we've been calling it. This is one of the, the vital areas there. And there's our five-minute marker before the match starts. Uh, then we've got the our uh, large stairs here and our um, short stairs here. Uh, short stairs being an area that I really like to avoid with the camera because it is a little bit hard to manoeuvre around. Our A point and the, the main sort of 
floor, the, the bottom level where the A point is, and that's our sort of our central building. Uh, we've got our southern sundra out here, it looks like RSNC must be starting on the southern sundra there with a nice yellow looking camo there from RSNC, which would must leave Gab on the northern sundra up the top here. Now, obviously, from the practice matches, we've seen, Spadge, that the Northern Sundra is probably the less beneficial Sundra uh, for the initial point cap. You've got a, a little bit more work to do, a little bit more open ground to deal with uh, around this sort of rock and whatnot. But you do have the the advantage of having this little corner here, which can be uh, wall jumped, I think you call it, um, for getting people up on the roof to deal with light assaults and stuff like that. But the Southern Sundra has a few more entrances and a little bit more direct access into the A point uh, from the, the doorways at the bottom of the large stairs there. Yeah, Southern Sundra are definitely a lot more beneficial for, for point presence and it's pretty difficult from the, the Northern Sundra to actually get in onto that point at the same pace that the, the Southern Sundra will. So the Southern Sundra guys in a perfect world, are going to push up, secure the point. The only real quick way that the, the Northern Sundra guys can get in on the point is to go down those short stairs that you mentioned earlier, which is a really, really, really tight space. So as long as they're watching that, short of the, the Northern Sundra guys flanking down the long stairs and jumping over the balustrades, which really leaves themselves open to being shot in the back, there's no real way that the Northern Sundra can get in onto that point at the same pace that the Southern Sunderer can. So that's going to be pretty critical because the Gap guys need to know, spawning on that Southern Sunderer, that they just need to wait. They need to be patient. They need to give up the first point cap and then resecure it. Either that or they need to have a set play, or be it wall jump and send all six guys around the back or something stupid like that. They need to have a set play that is, is based around securing that point. They can give it up, but they can't let RSNC keep it and score those free points. Yeah, so obviously the, the first round here is going to be very critical for RSNC here. They've got the, the slight advantage, so we really want to see them pushing hard for the aim point and taking that and holding onto it and really pushing back on Gab. It'll be interesting to see how Gab counter that slight advantage that RSNC have and uh, what they do differently to try and deal with it. Uh, so we should probably have a look at the, the guys for this round. Not a whole lot of differences from the Gap team there. I'm pretty sure I've seen all of those names before in the first rounds. Chris Kalpik, Solace, uh, Best Assassin, Kilios and Pachuvo, um, RSNC, Ching, uh, Goat, Cheese. Is he new? Is he Spatch? I think he might be the one sub that's making a debut tonight. We haven't seen him play before, so whether he was in the original 12 or not, he's, he's definitely on debut tonight. Yep, uh, D. Cole, Luke, uh, Beyond Ninja, and wins. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> yes, I did it right. Yep, only took four rounds, but we got yep. there, baby. We got there eventually. Rip wines. So, Richard. Wenz will obviously be taking up the lightless soul role for RSNC. I'm imagining he's done that in the previous rounds. Uh, who was the light assault for Gab? Calipix, so we're going to probably see two oh, nice. real juggernauts that have um, been playing Light Assault a lot in, in the games preceding. So I don't think we've really had two Light Assaults go up against each other that are probably as equal pegged. Maybe, actually no, Rocco was absent for the Jugger Gab match. So two Light Assaults that are really, they know what they're doing and they've done it a lot already. They've both performed exceptionally well this farmer so far. So those two tussling on the roof is going to be a real key matchup and um, it could be anyone's to win. And that's going to, of course, lead on to the point. So you better keep an eye on those guys while I'm keeping an eye on the A point. And if you do see any action happening between those lot of salts, let me know and I'll let's see if I can find it. Oh, I'll be watching. But other than that, very solid teams from both, um, both outfits. We um, should see some fireworks on this one. Pretty strong teams up front. Rightio, so the Gab team starting with what looks like a pretty standard loadout. Oh, we have got a Max. We've got a Max from RSNC Ching in his Shatter Camo is running it in the Max suit. Gab have seen it. Freighter from Gab from looks of things. All heavies and one light assault. 
which is Calpix as we expect. Oh, Ching there, just mowing down guys with that. You've got Pachubo and Best Assassin there on the top of the stairs. Yeah. Ching's already doing great work with that max suit. He has managed to pick off two kills, put a bit of damage onto a third. There he goes. Picks up Chris there, but um, Chris managed to get one kill, but they've done well. The, um, the point secure is pretty solid for RSNC at this point. Nice, interesting tactic there. Not something you'd sort of expect right off the ball, but um, definitely seems to have worked in their favour. And he's still full health. That's an important thing. All of the rockets that have been fired his way have missed, so... Picks up another kill. He's up to three kills on that max suit. Does take one rock? No, he doesn't. Tell a lie. He's uh, still he's full health. Pitched out for me there. Oh, I've got him on a half health now. From looks he has taken one yeah. towards the end there, yes. So it'll be interesting to see if he redeploys, but he's got five kills. Even if they kill him, he's point neutral at this point. Really good use of the max by Ching there. And there he goes. We've got to redeploy, so he doesn't even give up those five points. And so far, it looks like Wenz has managed to pick off two kills, while Calipix is still struggling. Hasn't found a kill yet. So... Chris in the serve room here. The RSNC guys are sort of playing it quite well by year sort of thing. They're not not pushing ahead or anything like that, just sort of waiting it out. Got a nice looking oh, banana here from Ching in yellow camo. He oh, goes down okay. there to Best Assassin. Yeah, we've got two kills going across here. Kielos has taken down two, now three kills, so they're three men down RSNC. They need to fall back onto this point and Hope like hell that their guys can get up here fast, but they lose another one, they lose another two Ooh, on the point. Yeah. Chris, uh, Best Chris and Matt have pushed well for the short stairs there and have just dominated and taken out all of the guys that were on the A point. Yeah, it was good patience from Gab there, they just waited until they had enough numbers, they got the pick that they needed, they picked off Ching at the top of the stairs and then they pushed in and they were just relentless. But we see RSNC regrouping as well, sitting outside the, the southern side here, getting ready to breach through the southern doors. Looks like we've got at least three heavies, one infiltrator. And I can see Ching with his cowboy hat and shadow camo stands out pretty well. So we've got a flank coming by Ching here. If we go up to the back of the server room, he's coming from the gab side. See if he can do any work. May just get a point flip here. He is. He's flipping the point. Man behind him, but then got taken out by. Uh, who is that? Pachubo there, I think, took him out. Yep. Yeah, Pert managed to put him down, but it was a good push, but just unsupported from the front. If the other RSNC guys could have pushed up at the same time, we could have seen a bit of a different result there. We've actually got Goat's Cheese running around as the Light Assault at the moment. I'm not sure. He might have been playing that Light Assault the whole role. The whole game, sorry. Ooh, Goat's Cheese manages to pick off Calipix as he's going up to the roof. So Goat's Cheese seems to be winning the war on the roof, and it looks like we've got a point flip here. Since they do appear to be taking back control of the A point, they've got the top of the stairs there as well. We've got Ching up in the server room here harassing the Gab guys. And Ooh, we'll going there. down, but taking. Yeah, he managed to take Kielos just before he got. Tr well, before he traded with Chris. But that's definitely a trade you're going to take. Kielos one of the best players on the Gab team. Anyone that can put him down, even if you go one for one, let alone two for one, that's a great trade to take. And slowly trickling back in, the cab guys seem to be gathering up outside. One pushing into the server room. Oh, best assassin manages to pick off two kills. Third one goes down beyond ninja. So they've got a big man advantage here, Gab. They should push in pretty well uncontested onto this point and capture it. Yeah, they've definitely got control of the server room here and it's sort of slowly working down onto the short stairs from both angles there and making that out pretty well and contested yeah 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 best assassin just behind chris there he picked up two kills but did very well not to team kill chris as chris was right in the thick of it
Though we're still pretty close on points, despite all the back and forth that has gone on. This point's still pretty critical. It's gone down to two minutes now for Gab to capture it. So we need RSNC to push back in and re-secure this, which they've, they've done already once, so they know they can do it. Goat's Cheese actually managed to pick off Solace there, so they're a man down, but Chris, I think, is equalizer by putting down Ching. Here we go. We've got a little bit of a disjointed push here. They really should have... They really should have pushed at the same time. They had the picks that they needed at RSNC, but they just didn't push in hard enough. It was a couple coming in from the side door, a couple coming in from the northern... or southern door, sorry. And now they're down to one minute before this, this cap goes over to Gab. And that's yeah, really going to skew the points. Really expecting the um, the push there. They all looked very ready for it. Now having a little bit of trouble, sort of taking out one or two guys from Gab that were attacking from the outside there. But they were ready for a push, and they just didn't push. Okay, we've got about a five on five now. We've got decal removed from the RSNC side and Chris down on the Gab side, but the RSNC team just needs to push now. They don't have a choice. They've got to get onto this point. They've only got 30 seconds. is now is um, in that sort of that, that point of desperation um, this is where it sort of don't want to do something stupid the gap guys they're all sort of three of them standing on top of the stairs they're all shooting rockets down trying to slow them down and it, you know, I was going to say it was working but we do have a point yep. flip here yep. we had a little bit of the point you know, although he's being oh it looks like we're going to have a re-secure here me. Best assassin, the only man I can see. Oh no, we have got an RSNC man, comes in, puts him down beyond Ninja. Good play there. Very nice. And that's going to save it. Get on that point, Dad. Go Cheese comes up down the short stairs there as well. They're actually going to get I on need the point. need to watch Ooh. that. Do have the two Gab guys coming in though. Uh, Calipix and Kilios, the dangerous two. Yeah, it was a mistake there from Ghost Cheese. He left the short stair. He could have comfortably watched that doorway, which two men came through, got at least one of them, but... He got none of them, and he got killed for his, his hard work there, but looks like it's not going to punish him too hard. They keep the point. For the time being, though, it looks like we've got one man from Gab coming in, and that is Kilos. Kilos there on the point, and oh. best assassins here as well now. Yeah, backed up there. So we're only going to probably have another 30 seconds for um, for RSNC to resecure when this goes back over. It is 31 seconds. Not a whole lot of time for them to reorganise and push back in again. No, and they're but going in hard Ching and fast. Is coming in, uh, gets taken down there by uh, Best Assassin again. Got a flank going around shorts there, so that's smart play. Ooh, trades, but they have got control of the point. Just. Really holding onto it well there. Whoa. A few Gab guys coming in again. That's going to be a secure for the time being. Looks like we have an SMG infiltrator coming out from RSNC. Definitely a very close match there, um, RSNC really being able to hold on to the point, but Gab just sort of capping it off them in the last few seconds there. They do still have time theoretically to recap the point and uh, take it back again, but they'd have to get organised and push in very quickly. Yeah, it's going to be tough for them to re-secure it. If they're going to do it, it's going to be from this side, I think. But at the same time, the RSNC guys just haven't been able to go pound for pound with, with Gab on just pure killing power. And they're a little bit disjointed. They are making a play for the point here, but they're losing health on a couple of guys. Oh, that is a good trade there from Decol. Nice trade there with Decol, definitely. Ooh, but then he goes down. So that's the power of just watching that short stare. Kilos goes down himself, so they're trading. They have got a point secure here, so they need to set up a defense here. They need to get men on the short stair, men on the long stair, and they just need to hold out the gab guys as best they can. They can get 30 points if they hold this and recapture it. Yes, it's, well, they've got two on the short stairs there at the moment, one down on the A point there. They need to get the rest of their guys back into this room. 
Yeah, no men on the long stairs at the moment. Really um, not the best sort of defense. We've got a gap man, Calipix, coming in onto the short stairs, but he gets shot in the back. The SMG infiltrator takes him down. Strong push from Gab there already, or uh, breached onto the top of the stairs there, and they've taken over control of that. And now they've just got to move down onto the short stairs there. Chain pushes up, gets taken down there, doesn't even get a kill, but may have a bit of cleanup. No, great flanking maneuver from Cap, both sides. Right there from Beyond Ninja and uh, Best Assassin, looks like. We had a full resecure here in about 15 seconds, and that's going to put the point capture out of out of question for ISNC. So now they've just got to change their mindset towards getting the right kills, making sure that they are just rushing in for the point because it's out of play completely. Just get the kills they need, and if they're going to die, make sure they do it to rockets wherever they can. Gab definitely pushing out here, um, really pushing hard on our SNC for points now. Well, good kill down on the point there by Beyond Ninja. And it's just to take out Chris, and he will get away. Beyond Ninja actually picked up two kills in that little fray. Picked up Kielos just before he got Chris. So good play, that's the kind of stuff that they need a little bit more of. And another one, another two kills beyond. Ninja gets one, Ching picks up another. I can't get the point at this stage, which is a real shame because they've got a really strong push onto the point. And this is the best defense that I've actually seen RSNC put together on this point, but it is too late. Yeah, if they can do something like this probably in the second round and won't get, um, gab off the point and then defend like this, uh, it could definitely make the difference. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, didn't even bother with capping it, they've just neutralized it. <laughs> Yeah, no point really in capturing the point, they just want to get up and, and get some kills, but at the same time they're also putting up some pretty decent point totals themselves, so their points four are going to get a bit of a buff from this match regardless of the result. Devastating Kielos. losses there. Yeah. yeah. Kielos picking up two and Calipix picking up another one on two wins. There's not much you can do when they push in that strong. But they have managed to pull back three. Ching with the triple kill there. Really well done. Ching carry, hashtag. Yeah, it is Ching carry. I think he averages <laughs> something like 60 points a match. And he had a shocking performance last week. So that dragged him down from something like 90 points a match. Something obscene like that. So the Ching carry is real. Yeah, and he's very easy to spot now, and he's yellow in his um, cowboy hat. Yeah, and he's still hiding behind here. He's gonna get Chris there. Catches him completely unaware. Oof. And then gets taken at himself by Bebo. Yeah, Bebo puts him down into the dirt there, but good play there. He got four kills for that life, so picking up six extra points for his team. And they need that at this stage. They need everything they can get. Calipix still doing work. He's in on the point as a light assault, and he's still managing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these heavies. Solace and Calipix combining there for two kills apiece, picking up four. With the Ching down, that really only leaves one man. So not too long left in this round now. Sort of a bit of a calm towards the end, but the scores are still definitely very close. Yeah, Gab's obviously got the advantage of having the point cap and that, that slight sort of skill um, increase that they've got. But RSNC are well and truly holding on and you could very easily make a difference in the second round. And there we have it, that's uh, round one all over and done with. That was very quick.
Yeah, that was a very action-packed round. It was um, great from both sides. Ah, so having a look at the scores here, Gab obviously in the lead with 175 to RSNC's 116. Uh, excellent scores there from uh, Calipix and Kilios and Best Assassin there, all with uh, 14 uh, each on the net score there. Uh, RSNC doing quite well as well. We've got a few zeros there. Well, the zero from Ghost Cheese, which is always good to see in the, the side that's sort of on the, the tail end. Uh, Ching, obviously, with a reasonable score there. Net score of 13, 22 kills to 15 deaths. Luke and Wens having a bit of a bad round there, both on minus 22 each. And Decol having a few more deaths there as well on minus 12. Yeah, interesting scores there. Wens definitely won't be happy with that scoreline. That's that's the worst numbers that he's put up this season. So he's going to want to turn that around. Negative 22 for both him and Luke. And I, I know that Luke was having connection issues earlier. I just hope that that's not the reason that he's, he's put up a bit of a poor number. But both of those guys will be definitely looking to improve. Uh, and, th and that's sort of... You know, negative 12, you can work with two negative 22s. That really sets the tone for the whole game. Eight kills between them. It's, um, it's You're not going to win when you have numbers like that on two of your members. So it's something that they're going to have to turn around regardless, whether it means putting Wens onto a role that he's preferred. We saw Ghost Cheese taking the light assault. Wens was sort of running around. I think it was it was him in the light assault. Ah, sorry, light assault. The um, SMG infiltrated towards yeah, him. So they were really yeah. sort of mixing it up, but it, it didn't work. It really didn't. They had a glass cannon, which they just don't need. I mean, these guys are situationally aware. They're going to see the shimmer of the, the infiltrator, and they're just going to take their head off just like any other heavy. So I'd like to see him just maybe go into a heavy, put on the cyclone, and just get in onto the point and start fighting a bit. Uh, definitely st uh, still worth pointing out as well um, to anyone that's not actually played on Jaeger 4 who's um, from Briggs, you've really got to realise that lag is a humongous issue here. Um, the amount of times that you see people run around a corner and then they die a couple of seconds later is uh, quite ridiculous. Yeah, it definitely plays a huge, huge part in it and it's very tough to get used to. These guys practice pretty much all week on live server but it is absolutely nothing like what you get here it's really really different it takes a lot to get used to a lot of people would have had a, a bit of practice with the server smashes i guess if anyone's taken part but doing it week in week out against people of this skill level and against other people that have ping just as bad as you it almost makes it twice as bad because he's got the jump on you just as much as you haven't seen him so it's almost you know it's almost like playing with 600 ping in a standard game really yeah, yeah. I think someone on the the Reddit there at one point was talking about it's like the worst place to play from on Jaeger, and it's pretty much uh, Australia in a nutshell. Uh, like you can't be any further away from the Jaeger server. We're on the almost the exact opposite side of the world from it. Yeah, not good. No. But we make do. Oh yeah. Oh well, yeah, that's it. Um, we've still seen some very good competition here over the last three weeks, uh, when the the practice matches as well. Uh, it's definitely the the guys that are playing are getting used to it, basically. Yeah, definitely. They've they've had four weeks of this now. Well, this is the fourth week. They've had three weeks of matches and, and countless practices, trying to learn the bases, trying to figure out what works, what doesn't, all that sort of stuff. So they've had hours and hours and hours on on Jaeger when you put it all together it doesn't it's not simply a, a turn up and and play kind of thing for these guys they all take it very seriously especially these guys up at the, the top the top four uh, I don't think that there's been a week where a team hasn't practiced at least once no well, that's it yeah they're all taking it very very seriously pride's on the line man yep yeah, well, that's it. Everyone's sort of been banding around, you know, being the, the, the best outfit and this, that and everything else for a long time now. And, uh, you know, this is the, the worst sort of situation, but the best way to show that, you know, you're the best outfit. I feel they're buggering up the sound again from the sounds of things. Yeah, it's running around with the soundboard, but we don't have the max from the RSNC guys this time, so just go on their standard set. 
standard set, yeah. Four heavies, light assault, and an infiltrator. Calipix is beaten to the roof by Ghost Cheese, but he just managed to pick him off. Ghost Cheese ran out of bullets there. I don't know what he did wrong, but he just missed Calipix. No one on the point, the yeah. point there. No, looks like our sense they are taking the short stairs and trying to get it, um, which is. Caused Chris and uh, Kilios to move up and decide they're going to take it back off them. Yeah, interesting kind of play there. I um. Dominating Ching there. Oh, no, it wasn't Ching. Oh, yeah. I think we just saw. Ooh, crunch there. I think we just saw Gab waiting, waiting back, anticipating the slow push from RSNC. And they did it well. They um they held back far enough that. that I guess Arasensi thought the point was uncontested. Maybe Gab's going somewhere else, but Gab was just lying in wait for them to push out, and that was a, a five-kill opener for Arasensi. Sorry, for Gab. Yeah. They're moving back in again for another push. Uh, taking this... down Chris there in the... Server room there, and then Decal getting taken out by Kelios. Yeah, this is is going to be a very, very tough push in. The Gab guys have had enough time to really secure their defence on these staircases. I um I don't fancy RSNC getting back in here. Short of getting a couple of quick picks. Oh, let's see. Gab's obviously confident by the the fact that they're pushing guys into the server room and almost outside as well. Um, that open area outside of the server room there, you really wouldn't expect to see someone coming from the the Southern Sunder and pushing that far out. Got a bit of a flank coming out the back. Oh, we got a knife kill there. Ghost Cheese taking down Chris with the knife. <laughs> then he went down to Calipix. Had a bit of revenge for his boy. Shame, Chris. Shame. <laughs> They've managed to get into the server room, RSNC, but that's a bit of a death trap. You think that you're making progress, but you're really... You're almost in a rat trap at that point. You've got to get out of there real fast. You've yeah, you've really got to push onto the at the top of the stairs, get a couple of guys at the short stairs, a couple of guys at the long stairs, as quickly as you humanly possibly can. And we do have them pushing down the short stairs. They've left their long stairs completely unappalled. No, looks like Ghost Cheese just harasses Chris off the yeah, long stairs. She's there, yeah. Good snipe from Solace there. Makes out Luke on the short stairs, really close range. He gets another one, he picks up Decol. And we got Wens back on this SMG infiltrator. Still not working, went down uh, there for free. Just it's too much trouble with it, yeah. Really action packed around the point at the moment. We've got guys pushing in from everywhere, kills back and forth. It's Sort of almost even at this stage, we've probably got about four, maybe three men left up from each team contestable on the point. The Gab coming back in force. RSNZ seem to be making another push from the server in there. They've got, it looks like three guys in here. They've got to move out, yeah, so they're, two guys go down there already. Yeah, they're not going to be able to push with this. They already need to regroup. They've lost too many men. They've lost at least three. Yeah, the, 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 the server room is a, uh, yeah, it, like you said, it's a death trap. People seem to think that they can, they can form up inside that room and then push onto your stairs. You really need to push very quickly through that room and get onto those stairs. Have formed up outside. We've got Solace getting aggressive. Putting down a motion spotter up in the server room, so it's going to make it hard for RSNC when they do regroup to get back in there. Ooh, Luke picks off Calipix on the roof, so that's a good pick. That's something that they can push off. They are going to be completely visible until they can take down that motion spotter, which they have done. Got a max here from Ching. Looks like he's wasted one rocket. No, he did take that rocket. Yeah, no, he's already very low on health already. But supported oh, oh and there he Chris. goes down. So Kilos 
they did the right thing there. Kilos took down Decol with a rocket that was intended for Ching. Now, it didn't matter in the end because Chris took him down, but because Decol was in front of him and, and Kilos had the rocket out ready to fire, he shot at the first thing he saw, and that was an infantryman, but that's zero points. If Chris wasn't there to clean that up, that could have been a really big play, and that's pretty much Decol just being a meat shield for the meat shield because it's so, so costly when your max goes down. Devastating kill there. Yeah. We do have a few going back though, Aris, since he should be able to re-secure this point. Oh, oh it does it have that point, but... Sorry, we've got Wens. He's still on that SMG infiltrator, so... He's definitely putting everything he has into it, but... He's got very little health. Still, looks like he's not running medkits. Ooh, goes down there. That is a scythe. It's not one of our guys, is it? Well, I'm not too sure who's in that scythe, actually. Red Legs VS. I don't know who that is. One who's got a Jaeger account that really shouldn't be on yeah, here. Yeah, that's one of the dread guys by the looks of it. Just stopping by for a look, but hopefully he doesn't get in onto the point and screw around like that. If you are listening on the stream, please nick off. So we got the point re-secured by Gab. We got Ching getting fragged out. Oh, he down by the grenade there. I got that on the camera <laughs> as well. Yeah, we've got EMP from one side, fragged from the other. There's not much you're going to do there. So trying to push in still, they've managed to pick up a couple of kills RSNC, now's the time where they need to push, they've taken down Best, Pert and Chris recently, so they need to get, get in there, but they're just afraid to push in at this point it seems, they've just been chubbed off so many they've, times. They've grouped up well and they're pushing the server room now quite aggressively, they've got to move quickly out onto those stairs, which they seem to be doing, pushing down onto the short stairs as well, we got things two gone guys. down, but... Chris and Chris and Pivo on the point. You're on Ninja! No! Team kill pool there, unfortunately, on Luke, so that's gonna cost our SNC five points. Go team kill them at the top of the stairs. This kill trade. So that's unfortunate for Beyond Injury. He has been having a pretty good game so far. Pretty good push. They just, I think they just lost Chris a little bit too quickly. They almost need to have a couple of those guys that are dying a few times to have them push in a little bit before him so he can sort of clean up a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. They're not going to get much out of this push. We've seen Best pick up three kills before he goes down. Chris picking up two. And Perk cleaning up the scraps with the last one. We've only got two men around the corner here for RSNC. They can't even get close to getting into that server room. Calipix managing to escape from the roof. Ching taking a bit of harass out of the door. We have got a flank going around the back. But it's watched by Kilos here, they're, they're just predicting this flank completely. Chris goes down, picks up the second kill. Really well done by Gab there. Out thinking their opponent, knowing where they would go. Reckon that was a motion spotter flank, is that how they knew? I, I can't see a Vanu one floating around anywhere, but... No, I think they just um, either heard them walking around in the water, because that's one thing to note about yeah, you, go. you don't have the, the background noise. There's no one in a Dalton or a, or a Prowler sitting on the hill. It's very quiet, so if someone walks through water, you do hear it pretty audibly if you're close enough to it. True enough, true enough. Ooh, good S1 kill there by the looks of it. No, it might have been Solace picking up Beyond Ninja there. 
rockets back and forth. And Gab coming out on the top of the kills once again. They're starting to put their foot down now, Gab. They're not letting him get in. And we're seeing how powerful this, this side can be. Gab have now got their hands on it. Managed to capture the point in the first round from the, the unfavourable side. It was a little bit of back and forth, but from this side that was definitely more favourable, they're, um, they're stamping their authority on this game. Yeah, well they've pretty much pushed right through the server room now and they're almost out in the open there and uh, the, um, the, the chances yeah. of them actually getting much... The virus sensor getting back in there uh, lower than you'd want to hope sort of thing by the fact that Gabba being sort of that brazen. Yeah, and they are brazen is the word. Chris was just out outside the server room basically by this huge boulder just before the server room and picked up three kills um, was just basically able to have free reign Calipix and Ghost G's having a bit of a long range duel there Calipix picks up the kill yeah, they can't even get into the server room now Gabba right up there Chris spawned back in and he's already back up in this server room ready to start taking names does go down. There was a nice kill on Beyond Vintero as he was reloading. Vicol managed to pick off Calipix as he dropped down from what I guess is an attempted flank. Solus sort of evens it up a little bit. There's still at least a man advantage for RSNC, so they make a push onto the point, and they have got it flipped. Fortunately, not with enough time left in the round to actually capture it again, but... They're probably not aware of that at the moment, and at least they've been, uh, at least them pushing in sort of given them a little bit of a tactical advantage. They're able to now take cover and sort of defend a little bit against the gap guys. Yeah, that's it. Put the points a little bit back in their favour. They're not down by a huge amount, and they've themselves put up a very respectable score of it'll be 200 plus here for these guys, so they've done well either way. Definitely could have been a, a close round there. If RSNC had, had been able to capture that point in that first round, um, which it really looked like they were going to do, like it was just a few little mistakes and stuff like that that they they struggled with. Uh, if they'd been able to do that, this would have been a, a much closer game. It almost could have gone in RSNC's favour. Yeah, and it changes your whole mindset when you pick up a round as well. If, if RSNC had managed to get that point capture and actually within the first half of the round I think it would really affected their mentality and gameplay coming in they seem to sort of be defeated coming into this one I think they knew that they had the favorable side in that first round when they lost the point and lost the capture they might have just gone oh well we tried boys you know let's just start racking up the points they've still competed they've, they've played exceptionally well in the second half but I think deep down they would have known that their play was was there to be made in that first half and they just just fell short which is disappointing but you're right it could easily have been their game yeah yeah well the, their their initial play there with Ching in the max like that was that was brilliant they wiped out like the whole gab team there with like ease basically and captured that a point but they just they didn't get on the defense quickly enough no they didn't and it, it will be interesting to see if that's mirrored because it's the second time we've actually seen that strategy pulled on this map. Dyer were the other team that pulled it, obviously the NC guys in a bit of close quarters like to pull their maxes, but it should be mirrored by others because that's easily reproducible if you can keep your infantry in front of you, use them as the rocket shields and just mow down kills, then you're in a good spot and that max is definitely worthwhile. Now the NC do have a little bit of an advantage in close quarters though with the shotguns, uh, like it's not as exactly repeatable for the VS and the TR, but yeah, you could still yeah. mm. pull the max. Close range, no, but long range as far as defending the point, they definitely have an edge, so... No, true, they, true. You're right, though. They may be more reliant on trading with, with rockets themselves, but still, I think it can work. A bit of back and forth here in the server room. 
And that's it. There we have it. Job done. Nice commendable win there from Gab. Uh, RSNC definitely put up an excellent fight against them. That is for sure. That's exactly what we were expecting. Ah, so, looking at the final scores. So, Gab there with uh, three, two, 362 and RSNC with 215. Uh, and uh, Calipix, Solus there having very... Oh, add Kyrgios there, bloody oath, a eh? 31 net score. 30 kills to, to 16 deaths there for Kyrgios. RSNC guys there, obviously having a little bit more trouble in that second round. It sort of dropped them all down a little bit more on the net score there. Ching coming out with a minus three, and Beyond Ninja coming out with a minus two there. 25 kills to 21 deaths, I think. Was it Beyond that had the, the team kill there, was it? Yeah, that's yeah. right. He should be on um, positive three. should be the only positive man on his team, but um, unlucky to get that unlucky team kill. Unlucky to get that team kill, yeah, definitely. Doesn't help, unfortunately. Uh, no, some interesting, no, it doesn't. Some interesting plays there, and uh, definitely a, a much closer match than it could have been, basically. RSNC really held up well. Yeah, and we see some sort of turnarounds from both teams, really. I mean, Chris was huge negative in the first round, manages to turn it around into a four. Pebo sort of held his ground. Kielos went big in the second round. They're picking up 30 kills as well as best. Um, doing really well there, those two. Um, on the, the RSNC side, same sort of thing. Ching Carry comes out again, 33 kills, 59 points total score. Didn't have the best net score simply because of the so many kills were on the max. Um, but um, they, they, they don't really have a weak link. I, I think Luke still was suffering a fair bit from those yeah, connection the, issues. Luke's struggle with the connection issue would have really made it oh, uh, bad for him there. And they've had seven kills to... 29 deaths that was that's pretty obvious there that he's he's having some kind of troubles there uh i sense he probably still need to be thinking about whether or not they're using wins to the their right sort of capabilities there in the the infiltrator role obviously they need someone to play the infiltrator role but he's definitely more valuable as a player as a lot of salt as we've seen in the first three weeks yeah he was definitely underused this week um probably an error from the team captain, whoever, or it might have been Wens himself saying, I would like to try this, I want to play this, but I think Gab's the team that you want to whip out a different strategy against. You want to go with you know with things that you know work. You don't want to, you don't want to try and out cheese someone. If you're going to do that, pull a max like they did, and that worked. But it was very obvious very early that Wens on that SMG infiltrator was not going to work, and they persisted, and negative 28 is, is testament to the fact that that failed. But right, they still do have another two weeks before we get into the finals, which they can still change things around a bit and find someone who will fit that infiltrator role a little bit better. Yeah. But, yeah, no, all in all, a uh, very good round. Yeah, definitely some, some good competition there and some good fights. Yeah, not a big win there at all by any means. Uh, 150 points, especially when you're sort of almost five versus six, is um, you know the expected win from Gab, but they definitely could have piled on a lot more points. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, yeah. It could have been a complete wipe for RSNC if um, like yeah, if th th things hadn't gone their way in that first round and they got sort of really down on their tactics not working, sort of thing. It, it could have gone very very badly for them, but they they held up exceptionally well against Gab. What are you guys? Well, we might as well call it there. This is the um, Briggs Farmers League. Uh, I've been Adam Fox, the unoriginal name gamer, here with Spadge from Gab, and we will catch you on Thursday. Thanks, guys. See you Thursday.